All right, mates, listen up. We've got Hugging Face and OpenAI in the ring. Ready to duke it out in the world of AI and natural language processing. First up, we've got Hugging Face, a new kid on the block. They've made a name for themselves with their open source software for natural language processing. And their tools like transformers and tokenizers have been a hit with developers and researchers alike. It's like they're the fresh faced youngsters with a trick or two up their sleeve. And then there's OpenAI, the veteran of the game. They've been around since 2015 and they know what they're doing when it comes to AI technology. They're the big boys in the game, with their cutting edge research and development of the famous GPT language models. It's like they're the grizzled old times who's been around the block a few times and knows all the tricks. So who's gonna come out on top? Will it be the new kid with their fancy tools? Or the veteran with their years of experience? Let's find out. The world of generative AI is heating up, and the competition is getting hotter than a firecracker in a sauna. It's not just the big tech companies looking to cash in either. Nope, there's money to be made in this field from all sorts of unexpected places. Enter Hugging Face the open source AI platform that's been making waves lately. They've partnered up with AWS, and they're ready to take the world of AI by storm. They promise to make AI open and not the other way around. And with this new collaboration, they're putting their money where their mouth is. With this partnership, Hugging Face is going to merge their models with AWS's cloud, which means developers will be able to use any of the models available in Hugging Face via AWS's ML service, SageMaker. It's like a match made in heaven, folks. The power of Hugging Face's models combined with the might of AWS's cloud. That's a recipe for success if I've ever heard one. So keep your eyes peeled, folks. The world of AI is changing fast, and with players like Hugging Face and AWS on the scene, it's anyone guess what's going to happen next. But one thing's for sure, it's going to be a wild ride. Well, well, well. And what do we have here? Looks like OpenAI is making moves again. The day after Hugging Face announced their partnership with AWS, OpenAI went and launched their own developer platform. They're not messing around, folks. This new platform called Foundry allows users to run their latest models like GPT 3.5 and a few DaVinci variants, but only on specific capacity. Now, they haven't said who their cloud provider is, but let's be honest. It's probably Microsoft Azure. They're like two peas in a pod, those two. But here's the thing, folks. While both Hugging Face and OpenAI are talking about democratizing AI, there's a big difference between the two. OpenAI, with the backing of Microsoft, has developed Foundry for leading edge customers running big businesses. That's right, they're aiming high, folks. They're not just trying to make AI accessible to everyone. They're targeting the big players. It looks like we've got some juicy gossip on the AI front. The good folks at OpenAI have just launched their developer platform, Foundry, and boy is it impressive. But here's the catch folks, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. A leaked pricing sheet for Foundry has surfaced on Twitter, and let me tell you, it ain't pretty. Even the lightweight version of GPT 3.5 is gonna set you back a cool $78,000 for 3 months, or $264,000 for 1 year. That's not exactly what you'd call affordable, folks. But hey, when you're dealing with cutting edge AI like GPT 3.5, you've gotta pay to play, right? And it seems like some big players are willing to do just that. In fact, Foundry has already attracted its first customers, with both Snapchat and Coca-Cola planning to use the service to integrate GPT 3.5 into the business operations. Meanwhile, on the other front, Hugging Face and AWS are two heavy hitters in the AI game, but they've got different ideas about how to make generative AI accessible. Hugging Face is all about democratizing generative AI and making it available to everyone, from individuals to big businesses. They believe that everyone should have access to the power of AI, and they're working hard to make that a reality. But AWS has a different take on things. They think that generative AI has the potential to transform industries, but they also believe that it's costly and requires expertise that only select companies possess. In other words, they think that AI should be available, but only to those who can afford it and know how to use it. AWS CEO Adam Slipsky recognized the potential of generative AI, but also acknowledged its high cost and technical requirements, which make it difficult for most companies to access. Hugging Face CEO Clement DeLung agreed with Slipsky's assessment and emphasized the importance of accessibility and transparency in the development and deployment of AI tools. He also mentioned that AWS's SageMaker and Chips will help Hugging Face and the larger machine learning community create reproducible models that anyone can build on. It looks like Hugging Face is continuing to blaze the trail in the democratization of AI. The company has just introduced Introduce an API that allows users to build their own ChatGPT technology for their applications and products. And get this, the API is priced only at USD 0.002 per 1000 tokens or 750 words. That's 10 times cheaper than the GPT 3.5 variants, making it accessible to tiny startups and researchers who may not have the resources to work with this technology before. Looks like OpenAI has earned some serious praise from ML engineer Mark Tenneholtz. In a recent tweet, Tenneholtz said, I'd give my left eye to read a book written about the challenges of deploying GPT-3 and the engineering endeavor it took to drop the prices 10 times with ChatGPT's API. 
we couldn't agree more. Even though the API model has its limitations, it was still a blessing for those companies without any ML experts. But let me tell you, OpenAI is fighting tooth and nail to keep the throne as the kings of the generative AI. Meanwhile, Hugging Face is out there looking for new avenues to keep the AI research space open. It's like a game of chess, but with AI models instead of knights and rooks. You know what I mean, right? The Eleuther AI crew announced the birth of a non-profit foundation they call the Eleuther AI Institute. This bunch of mavericks, scattered across the globe, has gotten support from some independent films like Hugging Face, EMAD Mostax Stability AI, Nat Friedman, ex-CEO of GitHub, Lambda Labs, and Canva. But don't be fooled. These companies are still doing their own thing, you know what I mean? If you thought Hugging Face was just another success story, think again mate. Last year in May, they raised a whopping $100 million in USD in their Series C round, which shot up their valuation to a whopping 2 billion USD dollars. That's enough dough to buy a few rounds at the pub, if you catch my drift. Partnering with the likes of AWS is a win-win for Hugging Face. Isn't it? Not only does it bring in some extra dough, but it also stops any cheeky attempts at monopolizing the market. Along with the moolah from the subscription model, teaming up with AWS puts them ahead of the game. Listen mate, the world of generative AI is moving faster than Jean-Claude Van Damme's fist in a brawl. And companies like Hugging Face and OpenAI are leading the charge. They may have different approaches, but they're united in leading their goal to make AI accessible to all. And let me tell you, partnering with big guns like AWS and Microsoft Azure has been a bloody genius move for these startups. But it's not just about the big boys. We've got non-profit organizations like Eleuther AI Institute stepping up to the plate too. And the competition is heating up. The future of generative AI is brighter than a bag of diamonds. And we can't wait to see what these brainiacs come up with next. Thanks for watching.